right now the 49ers are a game and a half above Dallas Cowboys, a game and a half above the Rams. And, I mean, the, the Detroit Lions are hanging in there. They're right there. Now, last time the 49ers and the Lions had the same record, the 49ers owned the tiebreaker for whatever algorithm they figured out or where, however they did it. But that can change if the 49ers lose, like, to an NFC team. The good thing the 49ers have going for them right now is they have only lost to one NFC team, and that was the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, that really helps the 49ers right now. And then, they, of course, it helps that they beat Dallas Cowboys and they beat Philadelphia Eagles. But ultimately, I think my biggest thing is you want – you want everything to have to come through the Bay Area. You don't want to have to travel. You don't want to have to travel to Philadelphia, deal with their weather. I don't think you mind traveling to Dallas, but it's cool, you know, just better to uh, play at home. I think you will have to play one of those teams, uh, the Dallas Cowboys or Philadelphia, in your first playoff game coming off of a bye week uh, because as it stands right now, the Dallas Cowboys will play the Los Angeles Rams, which actually. I don't know, Rams kind of scary right now. I'm not going to lie. All right. But then the Philadelphia Eagles play Tampa Bay. And I think we would like to say that that's just a W for the Eagles. But with the way the Eagles are playing right now, maybe that's not just the easiest win for them <laughs> playing against Tampa. All right. Uh, but either way, I'd assume that whoever is in that fifth seed, 49ers have to prepare to play that team. So if it's the Dallas Cowboys, uh, because, you know, maybe they lose another game and the Eagles win out then it's going to be Dallas Cowboys in that fifth spot and the 49ers will have to play them in the first game, most likely. All right. Uh, and if it's the Philadelphia Eagles in that fifth spot, I think they'll be Tampa Bay and you'll have to play them in your first game. So uh, the good thing with all that is one, you'll be very rested. And, you know, we think that that is very important for the 49ers, uh, you know, just to kind of make sure that the health is right, make sure everything's good. If you go back to two, 2019, 49ers had a first round bye. Uh, 49ers were the number one seed. They had two home playoff games. They had that bye week. Minnesota had to come. 49ers were super rested. They got players back. Remember, D4 was kind of banged up. Quan Alexander kind of banged up. And they were able to get those key pieces back um, after that bye week. And they were cooking. They were ready to go. All right. So I think that rest really helped the 49ers. You would like for them to be able to get that rest in this game as well or for the playoffs as well. All right, so uh, that's kind of the playoff picture right there. We will continue to kind of monitor that and see, you know, if the 49ers continue to lock up the number one seed. The magic number is two. That's what I just saw in the chat, right? Eddie right here. He says, magic number is two, Croc. Two wins, and we get the number one seed regardless. And it's as simple as that. Now the question is, if you do get the number one seed, right, you get you win those two games, week 17 or week 18, whatever week it is, you play the the Rams. Do you, and again, we don't want to overlook Baltimore. Like, that's going to be a big-time matchup. But do you say, all right, we won these two games, and you play the Rams, do you sit your starters? And I think traditionally, if you can't move up or down, a lot of times you do like to sit your starters. But do you sit your starters knowing that you have a bye week the next week? So now you your starters go two weeks without playing? It, it helps with health. <laughs> That's for sure. But do you get a little rusty doing it that way? I don't know. I don't know. I remember Baltimore doing that a couple weeks ago, uh, years ago, and people saying, yeah, they felt like uh, they were a little rusty. So um, I did watch the Dallas Cowboys 2016, if you remember, Dak Prescott's rookie year. Uh, Cowboys were terrific. They locked up the number one seed. They played their starters for, like, a drive. And then after that, Tony Romo came in for Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys played a lot of their backups for the rest of that game. And uh, the Cowboys ended up having a bye. So essentially their players had got like, two weeks off a little bit. And then uh, they played the Packers, and they lost to the Packers. Now, it was a good game. So it didn't look like the rest hurt the Cowboys. I thought that the Cowboys – Look, ready to play. I had to come back a little bit. Dak Prescott, I thought, played a terrific game, especially for a rookie. He played a terrific game. But uh, Aaron Rodgers was just a little bit more terrific. All right. So I think that's the only thing you kind of worry about in that moment. Either way, like my guy Eddie said, got to handle business. The Magic numbers two. Win these next two games and then play it however you want to play it.